So I've realized I post a lot about what I've created, but not the process of how I created it. Songs, but not my thought process behind them. And so I'm going to start a new series called Music Thoughts about how my brain works and music. And I think it's cool. I've got a lot to share. I've learned a lot over my journey of playing piano. So it's going to be good. Something I've been thinking about today is just the musical matrix that modern pianists and piano players are in. And there's a difference between the two, by the way. I don't play piano and I don't compose to that cookie cutter triad grid-like musical structure. I don't associate pitch with emotion because this might be a minor chord and that's supposed to be sad, but you can play a major in a sad way. And so for me, I play with shapes associated with emotions, which is why it's really hard for me to sight read because it's telling, giving me shapes that are different from the ones that are in my brain. So for me, instead of having to learn all these chord shapes, I invert it. And I have this shape that I can go through that's transcribable to any key, G. Now I can when I play is based off of these shapes that I've associated emotions within my brain, which in turn kind of creates my own style. And I'm going to explain that to you a little bit right now. This is kind of a silly example, but like when I think of a triad, I think of a pyramid. But then when I think of an inversion, I think of a diagonal line. When I think of an octave, like this, I think of a straight line. When I think of trills, therefore, if I were to play a C minor, that shape in my brain is that, C minor plus the octave. Long story short, whenever I'm playing something, what I'm seeing in my brain are those shapes that I showed you constantly changing with my hand structure. It's not the pitch that I'm listening for, it's the shapes that are associated with the emotions that I want. It's really weird. <laughs> what I've found it does for me is it unlocks from just a grid to a I can play freely knowing that my hands can play the shapes that are associated with the emotions that I want why am I saying all this you may wonder. Music isn't notes to a grid. It's emotions to your hands. It's your heart to your hands. My encouragement to all you musicians in general, don't conform to the world's grid of music. Firstly, it comes from the Lord. Then it comes from your heart. Then it goes to your hands. And so music isn't about learning a grid. It's about learning yourself. Of course, listen to the wisdom of other musicians, but you're not them. Whenever you try to learn music to somebody else's grid, you'll end up disappointed. And a lot of reason I believe kids and people start early on and then don't continue with it is because it's not fun for them because it's not the way their brain thinks. So when I teach piano, I don't teach, this is how I do it, this is how you should do it. You can't become an excellent musician through somebody else's grid. You have to become an excellent musician through your own emotion laid out through practice and excellence. I am in tune with how I learn, therefore how I play. 